Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Junkyard Digs. Today you join me, Angus, Dalton, and this 1970 Bonneville in a shed on a farm full of a bunch of abandoned cars. And we're going to see what it takes to get this sucker running once again. Where'd your magazine go? It's over there. <laughs> I'm not saving it. Pages stuck together now. <laughs> Stop. My mom watches these. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your money, or else. <laughs> put it away. Never. Just put it down. No. Down. Mike. Put it down. I don't like to get hurt. So if you guys are just joining us on this series, we are in a farm in Minnesota that's got a bunch of abandoned vehicles on it. As I just mentioned, there's abandoned snowmobiles, turbo trans ams, lawn mowers, boat motors, a little bit of everything out here. And we're spending a three-day weekend, myself, Angus, and Paul Barn Garage. And we're seeing how many of these we can get running and driving and kind of just digging around and exploring as we go. Today is part two of that series on our channel. And today it's time for the Bonneville. We've got some digging to do to even get to the thing. We got a bunch of tires, a bunch of magazines. Lawnmower is going to be in the way. Combine is going to be in the way, so that's got to come out. You're working on your own thing today. Yeah, I'm going to go check out a 69 GTO that's... Well, it's not even most one. It's some of a 69 GTO. <laughs> you have to check that out on his channel. You might see him pop in and out here with it, but to really see the debauchery, go check that out. That's the cool thing here. We can kind of cover all of our bases, right? So keep stuff to Angus, have fun, and you be good. Do I have to? Be good. Sounds like Listen to Kevin. <laughs> that sounds like a really bad plan, but all right. <laughs> Where do we want to start? Tires? Combine? Let's do a little digging yeah, so we get to this thing. first, and then once we realize it's an ongoing concern, <laughs> like if, if this thing actually will start and move under its own power, we should check that first. Check this out 1995. dusty for having a tarp on it yeah even right here you can see that they painted right over a bunch of rock chips oh yeah it was just a spray job it still looks good from about 20 feet All right. <laughs> too bad we're only two feet away now for now <laughs> hello presumably 400 can't imagine it would be a 455 but hell there's a chance i found under the overspray on this uh badge it says it's a 455 Bonneville. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they really did just spray the top of that, didn't they? <laughs> it is stinky. Ain't bad in here, though. It looks pretty damn nice. Ugh, it is. <laughs> it smells bad. It looks like a signed poster of a radio show post. Somebody in the comments will fill us in. <laughs> what do you got there? We got a Northeast Minneapolis map, I think. Oh. Must be all the places to hit up back in whenever. Oh, 87. Ooh. We'll just squeeze past the bowling alley over here and the turbo trans am we might get to later. Let's have a CB antenna. Uh, Boy Scouts. I wondered. I saw a uh, axe handle earlier that said Troop 511. What else we got? <laughs> the mission plans of the space shuttle. Actually, this guy worked for Honeywell, so we might not be able to show these. It's a bomb. It's not a bomb. It's... I it's a um, building. It looks like just a building schematic. Land surveys. A bomb building. I will say, next spring there is going to be an auction out here. and There will be cars and stuff for sale. So if you see anything in this series of videos that you want, come out to the auction next spring. We'll be updating that somewhere on social media. Otherwise, we're going to make a custom email for Kenny, the guy that owns the place now. So if you want to get a hold of him, do that right here at the email. That way we can... Uh, give Kenny a means of communication that he can ignore if people start getting really annoying, which is something we learned after Sigourney. Yeah, that, that kind of turned into a bad situation yeah, for everybody good. involved. Oh, uh, it's a magazine. Boy's Life. Hey, yeah, that's Boy a Boy Scout magazine. This guy must have been in Scouts. Maybe this is something we can show. No, this is not something we can oh, show. Oh, did we find another bag of those? <laughs> oh, we no. might have. One of the binders says, entertainment for men. <laughs> What do you say we check the oil, put a battery in this thing, see if yeah, it comes Yeah, after that I got some light reading to do. 
mice love to get up in here and eat these and then they rot the hood out. This one's still good, so I think we can save it. And, then, and this thing's junk anyway. Goodbye. All right, let's get our air cleaner off. Which is my mouse nest in there. Hang on one sec. You got a heat riser? No, you don't. It's off. Good. Probably, probably some probably vacuum, vacuum lines. Line. Nope, those are gone too. It's deleted. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> four barrel quadrajet. You love to see that. This let's sucks. see. What, what was it? Seventy. So this will be points ignition. Yep. So we're gonna have some points. We gotta sand. Do you, you see a dipstick anywhere? Check this thing for a while. Oh yeah, there's one. <laughs> I was going to make that joke, and then I decided. I'm gonna be professional. <laughs> You're on my shit list, Bob. Oh. Mmm. It's thick. Oof. All right. Well, she's got oil in it. Let's throw a battery in and see if it spins. Yeah. Bob's on the job. Oh yeah. Installed. I can do that too. Oh heck off. <laughs> it stinks in here. Step one. Windows down. Oh, yes, thank God. The windows work. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, there they are. There's the oil light. Oh, the radio. Oh, oh. In today's program, I told a story. <laughs> the church channel comes in. Hell yeah. All right, time for the big one. Let's see if she spins. He's got a bad connection on this terminal, okay. as is tradition. You were letting the smoke out. Oh, so. not the smoke, not already. All right, terminals are all cleaned up. Let's try this again, see if we can get a little more cranking power out of it. Ready? Yep. Much better. That looks better. I don't really hear any compression. Do it again. Ah. That's just a really good starter. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Let's get that cap and rotor off, clean up the points, get some spark in it. Eh, maybe something will happen. I think this is really working for it here today. Dude, I can't get. You know, really earn that $3 we pay you. Bob found plates. Got a year on them. 93. Oh, God, 30 years again. <laughs> Holy shit. It still smells bad in here. Oh, Daffy, Daffy Duck. Duck. Put those on Angus immediately. Angus, I'm preparing my face. <laughs> He's, He's just so small. He just knows. Gotta get a tiny face. Oh yeah. Quack. All right, so cleaned up. Let's see if we got it. All right. We're good. We got spark. Let's get the brake clean. And see what it does. All right, over under on this thing making any noise? Twelve percent. Twelve percent, Bob. Thirteen and a half. Uh, I'm gonna go twenty-three. Go for it. No way. no way. That was the most unhappy sounding thing I've <laughs> ever heard. not what? very good. Hit it. One more. Oh yeah, it's kind of knocky down below, isn't it? Who's there? Go for it. sound like rod knock or something it sounds like something's loose and like banging into the floor like the exhaust or something that could be i do see a new exhaust pipe down there all right well it runs i say we continue along the path and get a uh, fuel system set up get it to sit here and idle on its own and then worry about moving the combine all right there we go our uh, former overflow tank is now a gas tank Ta -da. let's see if the pump works <laughs> yeah she works that looks delicious. Yeah, we need, we need to run that a little more. Go ahead, Angus. Far enough. There we go. Yeah, we should probably do it again. I didn't know there was iced tea in here. <laughs> yeah. No, Bob. <laughs> Second attempt. That is a thousand times better. Let's hook it up and see if it runs. A little bit of sediment in there, but... We could. Yeah. That's we could. what the pre filter store. All right. Let's see if our needle and seat work. Go for it. And there it is. Idle. <laughs> Perfect. What the hell? Yeah, we 
we may find a new plug wire laying around. I think I saw some on the floor somewhere. Oh, yeah. Let's go hunt. I think I saw some on this side. You know, behind the record player, the supposedly original Model T, the other one, the 30s coupe they're going to finish building. 48 Ford, inline six, big grill press. Aha! I knew I saw some somewhere. I guess ground plug wires. Perfect. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> That's too short. We'll find no, out. It's perfectly adequate. <laughs> average. It's average. <laughs> it's boyfriend size. New plug wires on. Try it, Angus. Drop into gear, see if she goes in. We got any trans fluid in this thing? Let's take a see. Ooh. Well, that side looks better. It's pretty low. All right, let's get a couple quarts in there. I'll try it again. All right, throw a couple quarts in there. See what it does. See if you can get it to move a half foot and forward. We've got a running car that sits here, idles, and moves, so I think now we go through the effort to get it out of the shed. All right, time to start digging stuff out. We've got to move all this shit outside and make a pile. I'm sick of walking through the grass. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. yeah. I bet that thing runs with very little effort. There's no key. There's no key. Let's see if we can find a key, I suppose. Yeah. We've got air in the tires. I found a key, aka just like shove a screwdriver in it and it works. This should be an old enough cast iron coiler that there's a set of points. Yes, there is. Right down here. So let me get this cover off and clean that because not even worth wasting my time until I get those points sanded and we can get some spark into this thing. So just like in an automotive application, right there, I have a set of points that run off the camshaft. I need to get in there with some sandpaper and sand them up, and then we should have spark, and this thing would probably fire right off if I had a guess. All right, Bob, that's what you're here for. Hang on to this and oh. plug it in. <laughs> spark check. <laughs> yet, huh? mm -mm. All right, sand the points a little more. All right, try two. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Let's get some fuel in this thing. We're mowing the yard in no time. I thought we came here to revive cars. Yeah, we came here to revive everything. Just like Sigourney, you know, use our resources around us. All right, see if that does anything. Sweet. It's it worked. Not pulling its own fuel, I guess. Good. All right, let's see if we can get that fixed. Let's see if turning the gas on made a difference. Go for it. Dumping fuel everywhere. <laughs> so you're saying it works. Yeah, it's not a fuel issue. Oh. Do a little throttle. Oh yeah. She's alive. Let's go mow the yard.
classic Kevin in a tractor. Stops in the middle of- Oh! Sweet! Well, there you have it. Our first lawnmower revival. People have always wanted it, and now they have it. Someone uh, might have made a bit more of a mess out of the magazines. Yeah, like I said, someone might have hit that with the lawnmower. What happened? I don't know. It's hard to say. All right, what's next? This big French door and a couple other odds and ends and a bunch of crap underneath the combine. There's an air conditioner underneath it somehow. Hook that bad boy up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got everything cleaned out around it. Last step here is to get some air in it. And see if we can get the lift up off this pan conditioner that the whole combine is sitting on. <laughs> we might be here for a while. It's hey, free. Is that the last big piece? Oh, yeah, that's a big bastard. I'm working on it. <laughs> I suppose now we figure out where the batteries go and Lead a fuel system, see if this thing runs. It's hot as hell up here. Yeah, I bet. Oh my god. I'll come join you. That's it. Fun hanging out with me, Angus. Hey, keep your fucking body heat away from me. <laughs> the old John Deere dirt by the looks of it, eh? Sure do be. So we'll probably have to bleed this sucker, I imagine. <sighs> Looking at it, it's got diaphragm mechanical pump there. I think I saw a clicky clacky on the side. Clicky clacky there. down here. So why is that? There's a lot of diesel in there. That part's done. Good, good, good. Personally, I say we just turn the clicky clacky on and crank it and see if it goes like everything else has. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, there's a lot of tires over here. And a turbo Trans Am. And a ski rule. Oh, I actually can finally fit the whole car in the frame. All we had to do was get 20 foot higher. <laughs> Batteries are hooked up. I'll stay up here because they're inevitably going to be not very well connected. This is familiar. Kind of like that corn special 45 we had. Give her a gander here. Buttons, levers, knobs, things and stuff. Very intrusive heater box. And a bunch of math on the wall. Cool. Let's see what it does. I've got power in here. Hey, that's good. Give, give it a crank, see if it cranks. Nothing on the clickety clack? I got nothing. Oh. Hmm. I heard something. Oh, I hear the starter. There's a lot going on back. What the hell? What is that? Where's that red wire go? We've got nowhere to stand up here. It's all pulleys and death. Okay, found a way to hot wire this sucker. Let's see if she cranks. It do. Angus? Yeah. Glow plugs, sir. Oh wait, we know we don't have a clicky clacky pump. We know it's dead, don't we? Uh, let's get a fuel pump on this first, and then glow plugs. Hey, she's picking up fuel. I can see it leaking at the mechanical. That's good. All right, Angus, glow plugs. Ready? Yeah. Uh, hit that primer thing a few times. Ideally, we crack all these loose and bleed them like we did in the diesel truck in the first video, but uh, we'll see if she just happens to go. Give her some plug. I see fuel, at least at the leaky broken mechanical fuel pumps. That's good. All right, the injectors are cracked. Go ahead, Bob. <laughs> I smell gas, like diesel though. Do you have to like completely remove these to see fuel? What's going on? I got smoke now. Run those plugs hard. They're probably old as hell and barely do anything, but smoke means fuel.
diesel like crazy. And they're just not lighting off. Any ideas? Uh, try turning it off and back on again. Oh, great one. <laughs> Where's that starting fluid? Oh, she's gonna go. Come on. Come on, you dirty bitch. Give her some more. <laughs> I'm not doing it. We got just smoke rolling out of this thing now. We gotta be getting close. <laughs> Come on, you bastard. <laughs> I think by now we're running out of battery. I don't think this thing's gonna go. We're running out of daytime too. Problem is it's still in our way. All right, everyone grab a corner and start pushing. All right. Uh, my back, man. I, you know. <laughs> I gotta go over here. Listen here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> it's so freaking hot up here. Kevin's off helping Dalton with his uh, GTO problem. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna add some brake fluid to our master cylinder. We know this thing was stuck, but there's a chance if we tap on it just right, whisper the right, you know, Indian war cries, it might work. Oh, these are full. Mmm. Oh. That's the tastiest looking fluid. We're just gonna stop that. Fluid's full. I'm gonna give it a few persuasive taps with our, this. What is this? It's magic. All right, well, you're the man of hammers, so. Yes. Anyone can good. fix brakes with a hammer. I guess. Yeah. I'll hop in it, hit the pedal. Blow the seals out. Yeah, I completely destroy the thing. And we'll it's call it good. Great. Yep, done. Give her a heck, I guess. Yeah, I heard something move over there. Hang on, I guess you might have brakes. I don't think I do. I I thought I heard something in the discs go boing. Where's this drum? Oh, drums. There's definitely a drum noise. That was a spring. You moved fluid up front. All right, well, we'll call that fix. Uh, waiting on a skid loader right now to get this thing out of here because we're calling that done for. Don't care. Too hot up there. Going to actually die if we try anymore. I guess we get some air in the tires in this in the meantime. Angus is over there airing up the tires. Bob and I have been going through the remaining magazine pile, pulling out all the hot rods, and check this out. This is actually the 50 year anniversary, and I believe they just did the 75, and it was a remake of this exact cover. That ought to do it. Maybe. Okay. before we even started. I suppose in the meantime, we might as well start on this 56, huh? This thing looks pretty damn nice, actually. Oh, hang on. Am I taking it all back already? Oh, no, it's not terrible. And it's a pillow and a bunch of mouse nests. <laughs> she ain't bad on the outside. She's pretty rough on the inside, as you just saw. Are there keys in this thing? Uh, no, we're we, on the keychain. We have keys. Come here, a little Bonneville keychain thing. Very oh. unrestored under the hood. Trans cooler. That's good. And so what looks to be a two barrel Chevy out of a truck? Who knows? <coughs> Survey says. Ooh. Survey says that will run. No problem. Yep. We don't know how long this one sat then. Oh, looking at the tires and how they're all dead flat with rust marks where they've been low spotted on the rim, I'd say at least a year. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, there's no date. Oh, hang on. Is this open? Yeah. Pretty solid car. Well, throw a battery in it, see if she spins, do the usual. Absolutely. Let's do it. I take it all back. It's a cheap paint job. There's a run right in the middle of the hood. <laughs> Classic. She got two really good cylinders. <laughs> Yay! Great compression on two of them. Okay, get the sandpaper, sand the points, hit it with some fuel. No, flip. <laughs> what? <sighs> Impossible to get to. The, yeah, the condenser's right in the goddamn way. Hmm. All right. 
well, we'll deal with this and then we'll be back. TV magic. Holy shit, that's happening. out the side of the car and pelted all of our cars. <laughs> if the Dukes of Hazard were based in Missouri, it would be this. All right, well, we had spark for a second there. Hopefully it holds, hopefully we don't have to get back in here and clean that out because that's a pain in the butt. So uh, get this reassembled and hit it with a little fuel and see what happens. You know the drill. All right, let's see if it makes some noise. <laughs> Ooh, try her again. Oh, it doesn't even feel coming out. Oh my god. Well, that was weird. <laughs> it loved it. How's the fuel look? Um, if it's supposed to look purple, it's good. Yummy. Huh. Oh, okay. it's not yummy. <laughs> My nose hair, <laughs> it's gone. Uh, we could pull the soft line off the uh, intake of the pump. Apparently the pump works, we can put that on to uh, an Another fuel jug. fuel source, yeah. yes. Let's do that, it'll get it out of here. If we can get the comment out of here yet. All right, fuel system's plumbed up over there. We got a bucket, and some lines, and a new hard line or soft line hooked to the pump there, so let's flush it. <laughs> a solid gradient in the fuel. I wish I was making that up. <laughs> That's just the dirt that came out the first time followed by clean fuel. Yay! It works, yay! <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Do better, damn it. Angus. I'm working on it, Angus. We gotta get the damn combat out of here, Angus. And then we gotta get the corn out before it rains. I've heard <laughs> this story before, you can't fool me. All right, here we go, round three. Good question. Now this is the row of items I'm most interested in. We have a Polaris TXC, a Ski Rule RTX, and a Turbo 4.3 Trans Am. 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to purchase those. You'll have to stick around next winter and find out. But this... I think it's probably a 301. Oh, yeah. Uh, With a turbo. It's pretty cool, though. They're actually oddball cars. Like, uh, just under 10,000 of them made, I believe. All right, we we'll finally have the combine out of here. Let's see if we can get the bottom bill to come out of the street. Good uh, burnout. Oh, you don't have keys? They're in the 56, because we were working on this. Do -do -do. There you go. Sure. Trunk of keys. Our French doors are impeding us. That's a question. I might be the return line is not unhooked. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we're out of gas. I still have spark. All right, try it now. Oh, you got spark. Ah, you got spark. <laughs> it really Thanks likes me. Thanks for checking. Oh, uh, yeah. Yo. Uh, now seems like a good time to change that tire. I can't help but agree. All right, tire's back on. We're running out of time. We're going to swing front over on that. Let's go for a drive. Oh, boy. Surprise turkey baseball. Oh, no. Welcome abroad to the sticky, stinky car. I gave the idle jets a half turn out. Seems that helped. Let's go. Ride's nice, that's for sure. First time in 30 years, the Bonneville's out of the shed and back on the road. 90,000 miles in this car. Let's see what she's got. Does she got brakes? She do, she has the front left, that's it. <laughs> oh, dude. Her hood's not latched, so I'm just gonna slow down. I latch that. Give me one sec. I don't want to let the fly up and ruin everything. <laughs> this is it, this is how I die. That's most of the cylinders, kind of. Oh, dude, second gear, it just floats. All the floats, all the shit right to my eyes. Uh, good lord. Look at this. We're doing it, Angus. We're finally driving one of these down the road. We're out of gas, Angus. Okay. We're gonna do this Dalton style. We're gonna stop at the top of the hill and hope we roll all the way back to the house. This is a solid start. Yep. Hmm. Uh. Wait, there's another hill, isn't there? Shit. <laughs> so, uh, how did your day go? Well. We're doing this. <laughs> Pretty well. Oh, Jesus, we're freaking up speed. Our turn line, let's pump a lot of fuel. Yeah. <laughs> we're not even gonna make it to the bottom of the hill. Okay, well, not quite as lucky as Dalton. Well, she may have broken down and left us stranded on the first time he came out of the shed in 30 years, but he did drive out of its grave, so. Something to be appreciated for the old John Deere Bonneville here. All right, let's go get the 56. Maybe the 56 can push this one back. That'd be great. Hmm. I think that worked out pretty good for him. All right, well, let's try it again. Maybe this one will be better. First, I think we should take a moment and appreciate this cool rock I found on the road. That is a cool rock you found on the road. Good job. Thank get you. in the car. <laughs> You... <laughs>
idiot. Back on an adventure. It worked so good the first time. You need some fluid? Huh? Need some training fluid? Yeah, I need some fluid. All right. There is a big puddle on the ground over here, so that's no, surprising. What's definitely not that. Oh. It's also actively dropping coolant. Has, has every ATF stick you've pulled out of here been like clear liquid, like hydraulic fluid instead of red dirt Dexron? Ours have been red. They've been red? Every yeah. one of mine has been like motor oil colored. Yeah, he had a lot of bad transmissions, didn't he? Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> huh. Just putting those together, I guess. All right, let's see if that makes a difference. Take two. There we go. First neutral are real plug. <laughs> you get in front of the dog. Sir. All right. The poop is fine. Oh my God. I've never driven a Tri-5. Can't say I have either. First time on the road and we literally don't know how long. Well, those tires are from the 70s at least. Oh, think so? Yeah. They're bias flies. <laughs> uh, I didn't like it. Uh oh. Ah, there we go. It's just low on fluid. It hopped out of gear. Like that. Maybe I can pull her down in a second and she'll stay. There we go. Hey, look at Someone abandoned a Bonneville up what here. The? Who would do that? Oh, know. you guys didn't even get turned around. No, no. <laughs> we died at the top of that hill. <laughs> this is a new record right here. Will it run and drive? See a sucker of a mile. <laughs> no. Not even. <laughs> It ran out of gas. <laughs> that return line, same thing you were fighting. Yep. It's a little lumpy in here. Oh, dude. Oh, man. I think that's second, too. That's, that's, oh, that's first. Well, you know, honestly, all these cars have really steep gears. It's probably no slouch. Okay, now I gotta think about this because I don't have. Any... Ooh. You got something, does it? Uh oh, it died. Oh, Hang shit. on. Oh, good. Thank God. Manual steering. Whip, Hold on! Whip it, whip it, whip it! Jesus Christ! Ta da! Gosh. Why did I get in this? I don't know. <laughs> that was really dumb. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. Good to go. God. What is going on back there, it's man? Like the rear end's falling yeah. out of it. It's like. Oh, the trunk's open. That's oh, probably something. That's, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, I think the trunk and the transmission are connected. <laughs> God. We, we, oh, we, oh, we, God. We, Don't we. stop. Look at this. <laughs> it doesn't even move. <laughs> I can see where this would be like, just drive across the country with your family in it. Hell yes. In 1957. Then we evolved. Right. Like that. Let's see. Speaking of that, let's see if I can not crash into it. Oh, yeah, you have no brakes. As long as it doesn't stall. Off. No, I got this. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, God, that was cold. Don't worry about it. Oh, everything's... Don't worry about it. Yeah. Man, you, you look glorious with the sun at the Thank you. side of your head and your 56 Chevrolet. I took my hair behind my ear and had <laughs> my scarf in the wind. And... See the USA in your Chevrolet. <laughs> and pull a Pontiac. <laughs> pull a Pontiac. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this shit up. <laughs> you want me to hook it right to the bumper, right? No. What? Do not do that. The strongest. That's what they all did. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wait, I get to drive this backwards? That oh. one has brakes. Oh, cool. I'll, so I'll be your brakes. We are a team. <laughs> I have go, you have stop. Neither of us have the other. <laughs> it's like the train races at night of destruction. But hopefully with zero destruction. Here we go. This can only end well. 
I'm ready when you are. Please go into gear. Please go into gear. Please go into gear. Okay, I went into gear. Oh. Why did I let him put me in here? Oh my god. That could have went better, but it's going. Pull, baby, pull. Let's just let's just go for one. Oh, we're in one. Oh, it's not loving it. It's actually absolutely hating it. Oh, this is terrifying. This car's pretty nice though. I might have to buy this. There we go. It's a little happier now. It's doing it. Imagine how many families this car has hauled across the country and here she is. Back out of the shed. Pulling a Pontiac down the road backwards. Okay, I gotta be his brakes on this hill or we waste a freaking Tri-5 Chevy. Couldn't live with myself. On the brakes. Don't take out the Chevy. Just don't take out the Chevy. He's just riding the brakes. Seems to be working. Alrighty, we made it. Brakes! This thing getting half bad inside. Yeah. Comfy. Pretty damn well. Yep. Let's wrap this shit up with a tug of war. <laughs> well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to do it for our second episode on my channel out here at the farm in Minnesota. Dalton, you also wrapped up your second video today. Sure did. You guys will have to go check that out. I'll tell you right now, it is ridiculous. <laughs> it's a car that should have never ran again, and it does. It's kind of what I do. Thank you to everyone who helped Dalton, JD, Angus, Bob, Kenny, the skid loader, not the combine. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you check out our merch, junkyarddigs.com. We'll see you guys right here next week for another episode here at the farm. Until then, stay greasy out there. Peace.